नमस्कार आई रिचा जैन वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू आर कथक डांस क्लास दीज आर बींग ऑर्गेनाइज बाय रूट्स टू रूट्स इन एसोसिएशन विद द इंडियन काउंसिल फॉर कल्चरल रिलेशंस गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सो वेल लेट्स स्टार्ट विद आर डांस क्लास एंड लेट्स बिगिन विद द भूमि प्रणाम ऑल राइट सो ऑल द हैंड्स ऑन द left side friends and we go down we do a pranam and then we stand up and we do a dha okay so as we do it in every class let's start with the tatkar warming up ta thai thai tat a thai thai tat and today we are also going to revise the heel and toe tatkar that i had taught you all right so big let's begin with the ta thai thai ta ta thai thai ta in three speeds tha le which is the basic le then we go the double of it which is the dugut and then we go the four times of the base le which is the chogun let's begin friends all right one two three position is naman ta thai thai त त आ थई थई 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 त त आ Hey, once again at this speed. Ta, hey, hey, ta, 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 hey, hey, ta, 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 hey, hey, ta, 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 hey, hey. Let's go double of this. Ta, hey, hey, ta, 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 hey, hey, ta, 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 hey, hey, ta, ta, ta. Hey again, ta. Hey, hey, ta, ta, ah. Hey, hey, ta, ta, ta. Hey, hey, ta, ta, ah. Hey, hey, ta, ta, ta. Once again, ta, hey. Hey, that ah, hey, hey, that ta, hey, hey, that ah, hey, hey, that ta, hey, hey, that ah, hey, hey, that ta, hey, hey, that once again. Go ta, hey, hey, that ah, hey, hey, that ta, hey, hey, that ah, hey, hey, that ta, hey, hey, that ah, hey, hey. Tat ta thay thay tat four times chogun start ta thay thay ta ta thay thay ta ta thay thay ta ta thay thay ta. Carry on with the speed, friends. Ta thi thi ta da thi thi ta ta thi thi ta da thi thi ta ta thi thi ta da thi thi ta ta thi thi ta. Continue. Very nice. Once again. Ta thi thi ta da thi thi. We do the tihai now. Start. Ta thi thi ta da thi thi ta one. 
clap, say, that is a da 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 All right, friends. So that was the Tihai, Tatkar, and the Tihai. So now we move on to the other Tatkar pattern. Which one was it? I was using a combination of the entire foot, the heel, and the slip. So how does it go? It goes right, heel, heel, slip. Left, heel, heel, slip. Understood? Let's go again. One, two, three, start. Right, heel, heel, slip. Left, heel, heel, slip. Right, heel, heel, slip. Left, heel, heel, slip. And right. So what we are going to try and do today friends, we are again going to do the basic speed, the thale, then we try and do the dugun of this, twice the speed and then four times. It is going to be a little, little tough, but I am sure we can really do it. So let us try doing it, okay? Because in the previous class I was just teaching you how to go about it, but in this class let us try and do it at a higher speed, alright? Let us go for it. So, we keep the pace very slow. We start with a very slow pace and then we go to the chogun. Alright, let us start. 1, 2, 3, start. Right, heel, heel, slip, left, heel, heel, slip, right, heel, heel, slip, left, heel, heel, Slip again, right, heel, heel, slip, left, heel, heel, slip, right, heel, heel, slip and left, heel, heel, let's go double, right, heel, heel, slip, left, heel, heel, slip, right, heel, heel, slip, left, heel, heel, slip again, right, heel, heel, slip, left, heel, heel, slip, right, heel, heel, slip, left, once again, right, heel, heel, slip, left, heel, heel, slip, right, heel, heel, slip, left, heel, heel, again, right, heel, heel, slip, left, heel, heel, slip, Right, heel, heel, slip, left, heel, chogun. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, very nice, go oh, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, very good. Right heel, heel, slip, left heel, heel, slip. Right heel, heel, slip, left heel, heel, slip. Very nice. Right heel, heel, slip, left heel, heel, slip. Right heel, heel, slip, left heel, heel, slip. Very good. Keep up with the speed. That's it. That's the way to do it. Great going. Should we go a little higher than this? Can we try? Alright, let's try. Let's try. Go! Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Very nice. 
I just do a short tehai, right hand. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, friends. That's the way to gradually increase the speed. Okay. Sometimes what happens is that we are unable to concentrate on the left foot. The problems that you will be encountering once you start increasing your speed is that the left foot does not stamp with equal force in comparison to the right one. So, when you are stamping your left foot, be conscious of the fact that it has to be stamped with the correct, with the equal amount of effort you are putting on the right one. Moreover, the left foot also has to return to the same place. The problems that we may face are, for example, now in this case what is happening? The left is weaker than the right one. Okay, but what we have to concentrate on is that right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So, the left does not become weak. Moreover, we also have a tendency to shift the place. For example, if I am going at a high speed, I might be, you know, my feet become a little unsteady and I lose, start losing body balance. So, it is going to be something like this. So, that is wrong. Okay. So, what we have to do is exactly come back to the position you started from. Okay. This, the starting point, we have to come back to the same position, the feet have to come back. All right. Moreover, one more thing is do not bend your knees while doing the tatkar. Do not bend your knees, keep them straight. Because if I am bending my knees, if I am bending my knees, my position is not good. So, when I am standing straight and I am, you know, hitting back my knees, the position is going to be smart. See, it is going to be smart. So, whatever I am doing, so whatever I am doing, it is a smart position. No knee bends, no problems. All right. So, just be aware of the flaws that might develop when you are doing this particular tatkar pattern. Okay. So, now let us revise the Ganesh uh, shlok that I had taught you and also the kavit, Krishna kavit. I am going to teach you the spins using 3 feet, 2 feet and 1 feet, 1 foot rather. All right. So, quickly let us revise the Krishna Kavit first and then we do the Ganesha Shloka. All right. Can you see it on your screens? So, let me describe it once again just for a quick revision. All right. Shisha Mukut means he is wearing a headgear on his head. Shish Mukut Banasi Mukhabaje. He is the one who is carrying a flute and he is playing the flute next to his lips. So, Shish Mukut Banasi Mukhabaje Chapal Nayan Kundal Chalke, meaning the one who has very naughty eyes. Okay. So, Chapal Nayan, okay, let me do it with the movements also. So, Shish Mukut, I was supposed to do it like this, a little sideways, my hands like this, and that is the way I show my Mukut. All right. So, Shish Mukut, and then it is Banasi Mukhabaje. So, the flute is next to his lips. All right. So, Shish Mukut Banasi Mukhabaje. And then he has naughty eyes. Chapal Nayan. Okay. So, naughty eyes. Chapal Nayan Kundal Chalike. So, the earrings are dangling. All right. So, Kundal Chalike. And the usage of the neck is subtle, not loud at all because you, we do not use uh, 
the use of neck is not very loud in Kathak as is in Bharatnatyam or maybe Kuchipudi it is a very elaborate use of the neck but in Kathak we have a very subtle way of using the neck even when I am showing a woman plating her uh, hair I will be using the neck but in a very subtle manner for example if I do she is plating the hair like this it may not look very beautiful but if I do it like this so the neck you know the uh, neck movement is subtle similarly we are using it in kundale chale ke so kundale chale ke that's where I end kun is I am taking it towards the right kundale chale ke that's where I finish on the left side all right so now it goes Moramukuti using the Mayura Hasta which is a single hand gesture in mudras all right as described by Natya Shastra Bharat Muni and also Abhinay Darpan Nandikeshwara so Mayura Hasta Moramukuti Pitambar Sohe meaning he is wearing a yellow colored lower which we call a dhoti as you may be able to see it in the PPT also. So more mukut pitam sohe, all right, pitam sohe, and then we go mand mand. So we go mand mand meaning within her heart, deep within her heart, Radha, his beloved is smiling and blushing. So mand mand. Madhuri Musike. So how do I how am I pulling the whale? It's like this. So you know it's like I'm pulling the whale, but then I want to look at Krishna, so I'm pulling it a little away. Alright? So Madhuri, she's blushing, but then she says Musike. She's looking at Krishna and she's blushing. Alright? And how are the feet movements, friends? Feet are very simple. Let's do. Let me do it once again with you. So it was right and left, and then left and then right. So the placement, uh, friends, just make sure that the foot, which is right in front, is not tilted this way or this way. It is straight. Okay. So when I do a right and a left. It won't go too sideways, it won't go this way, it is going to be straight. Alright? Then left and then right. And the other foot is standing this way. Okay? So let's do the first part of the kavit and then we do the second part where we have the nutvari bowls. Okay, so let's do the first part, Shishamukut. All right, we'll go very slow. Ready? One, two, three, start. Shishamukut ban si mukba je chapal ne na kundal chal ke mor mukut pi tambar so he mand mand the madhuri muske. So now let's move on to the second part of it, which is the Natvari bowls. So what are the Natvari bowls? They are tatatthai, tatatthai, tatai, tatai, tatatthai, tatatthai, tatai, tatai, tatatthai, tatatthai, tatai, tatai. So how does it go? Last position is Madhuri Musike. Now I go. I am starting again with the right foot. So it goes. Tat tat thai, one two three, one two, one one one. All right, let's go again. One two three, one two one 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 two three, one two one 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 two three, one two one one one. So hands were one two three. One, two, 
and then we take a spin 1 1 1 okay so 1 2 3 and whenever I am doing 3 I am taking my neck towards the right so it goes 1 2 3 okay how does it go from the left I am giving a little jerk to my neck my face so it is so it goes 1 2 3 3 and 3 when I am stamping my le right leg my neck comes simultaneously at the third beat okay just to improve the presentation friends the neck is very important all right and the look if I am doing this won't look nice so the level of the neck is straight won't be too high won't be too low it is the medium level okay and so are the eyes the eyeballs I mean okay I mean the eyeballs keep the eyeballs also at one particular level that establishes communication with the audience and also a connect all right let's go okay one two three start sheesh mukut ban si mukh ba de chapal ne na kundal chal ke mor mukut pi tambar so he mand mand madhuri muske one two three one two one 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 two three one two one 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 two three one two one 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 Okay, so should we move now to the Ganesh Shloka? Ganesha is the elephant headed god who is the giver of good luck, wisdom, and happiness and prosperity. And he is the one who is worshipped before we start anything auspicious. He is the giver of blessings and boons. And his description is Vakratund Mahakaya, meaning the one who has a curved, twisted, trunk all right so how did we show it we were using the left hand as the ear and with the right hand I had you know uh, made it in this way this is actually a mushti which we call a mutti or I'm just you know pulling my fingers right inside so it's it was something like this okay that's the way I show the trunk of the uh, God Ganesha. So it's Gan Ganapati, it's like this, all right. And the body is going a little curve just to show the, uh, the curved trunk. So Vakratund, the one with a twisted or curved trunk, Mahakaya, the one who has a big body, big body, Mahakaya. All right, Surya Koti meaning the one whose aura is equivalent to millions of suns. All right, so Surya Koti this way. So I am taking my fingers like this and I am creating a circle to show the sun. Surya Koti and then I do Sama Prabha. I am looking towards my left. Sama Prabha, it's his aura is everywhere. Sama Prabha. Then I do Nirvignam. Oh God, oh Lord, please take away all my worries and obstacles. Nirvignam. And my legs are like this. I'll repeat once again, all right, friends? Part by part again. So Nirvignam. Kuru Me Deva. Take my worries away. And then. Sarva Karye Shu Sarvada meaning in all my endeavors please bless me O Lord okay so let's go again friends bit by bit again so how does it go Vakratund so it's and how did we take the leap it's Vakratund how did we go again I'll go again so I am taking a leap. So Vakra Tun 
द राइट एंड महाकाय में आई एम प्लेसिंग माई लेफ्ट लेग अब लेट मी गो गो अगेन सो हाउ डज इट गो इट गोज वक्र तुंड एंड देन वेन आई एम डूइंग महाकाय एज मैं बिफोर आई वॉज जस्ट रेजिंग माई टोज अ लिटल बिट just to show how gradually his size is beginning to rise and then i come down slightly so when i'm doing mahakaya i'm raising my toes a bit like this and then i am just coming down just to show mahakaya so how do i go this is my regular level so mahakaya there you see a little rise in the height and then i come down can you see so mahakaya and then i come down okay just to show a little rise in the size and then i come down very subtly okay just have just control your body weight because at this time your entire body is on your toes and that to your toes are risen okay so just try and control the body weight let's go again friends so we do the hand is right here we go vakra tunda okay then mahakaya understood then surya koti mein i am just turning my feet like this the last position was this mahakaya correct so now it's surya koti i am just turning it this way your your right is like this the left the entire body weight is on the left leg now okay so it's surya koti now surya koti and then i go sa ma prabha so it's this way and then i go back as you can see on your screens friends that's surya koti and then sama i mean i'm taking right leg behind prabha i place it together so again i'll do it it's like this so i go sama prabha okay all right so surya koti and then sama prabha everywhere okay then it goes nirvighnam again i'm pulling the the left toe out so it's like this nirvighnam and in this position of my feet i do nirvighnam with the hands nirvighnam okay please take away my worries kuru me deva so nirvighnam kuru me deva now the body weight is on the left side and it's the right toe so it is nirvighnam it's this way and then kuru me deva is this way i'll do it again please take away my worries okay coming again please take away my worries so nirvighnam kuru me deva understood and then we go sarva karye shu so how does it go now it's nirvighnam kuru me deva then we go sarva right goes first it's right here so now the right foot goes sarva karye shu and then sarvada we don't have any foot movement so nirvighnam kuru me deva sarva karye 
शू सर्वदा फ्रेंड्स वील डू इट बिट बाय बिट ऑल राइट लेट्स डू इट टुगेदर सो रेडी वन टू थ्री स्टार्ट वक्रतुंड महाका सूर्यकोटि समाप्रभा move on to the spins so now we are going to do 3 feet 2 feet and 1 foot so the spins the rules remain the same the spins are going to be taken from the left side so this is my left and again the turn is from the left side at one place but now the thing is that i will have to cover the same distance with fewer number of feet earlier i was doing 5 feet which means i was doing 1 2 3 4 5 5 correct let me go again so it was 1 2 3 4 5 5 right and then we did 4 so which means 1 2 3 Four. Now I go three. So how does three go? It goes one, two, three. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to cover maximum distance with the first right foot. So what I do is I do one. Then it's two, and then I come back three. Okay, if I do this one, two, then three, I will have to put in more effort, and I will have too much to cover in the last bit, in the last count. So to avoid that, and to have the spins in uniformity, what I do is I'm using, I'm trying to cover maximum distance in the first beat, so that second and third. have lesser to cover and they are smoother okay hands go in a similar way it's 1 2 3 so it's 1 2 3 again 1 2 3 try and bring it faster okay but the hands are at shoulder level but not too straight not too loose or not below okay they are at the shoulder level all right so it's 1 2 3 1 2 3 and generally for this particular 3 feet pattern of circles we do tat tat thai tat tat thai tat tat thai all right that's the term we generally use though there are many other varieties but that's the general way of taking a 3 feet spin alternately so can we do it with the hands friends let's do tat tat thai or 1 2 3 so let's go slow so the first one is here so 1 2 3 start 1 2 3 okay all right so now what we do is we do this 3 feet spin in succession and we do three of them together 
so we go 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 and every time we are starting 1 it's always from the right foot okay whenever we do it in succession friends it's actually like this it goes right left right left right left right left right tat tat thai tat tat thai tat tat thai all right generally it's an alternate when we do the second spin but right now i will not confuse you just go with the right leg in one beat all right so what we do is i'll just show it to you once so we do right left right right left right right left right so now should we come to the feet where we are using only two feet all right so now how does how does it go the distance again is the same but the number of feet have been reduced to two so now again the right foot has to cover maximum distance so that the left foot is able to get in place in time all right so now it goes maximum distance by the right this is a little tough but i'm sure we'll be able to do it so how does it go now friends it goes it goes one and two again i'll do it for you okay so now it goes one and two and a little i have to adjust so it's one two okay i'm coming again so what i do is one is almost covering three fourth of the circle okay so now it goes one and two okay so that again the hand now is has to come faster so it's going to be one and two one and two okay friends this particular footwork of two beats which i'm using this particular spin when i'm only using two feet this is generally used also when i'm doing my spins in four directions for example right now i'm taking this circle but if i have to take spins in four directions so i'm going to use this particular foot for example i can cannot do 1 2 3 4 5 i can do that 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 this is the five feet pattern but generally we use two feet so it's 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 okay so it's four directions meaning for example i'm starting with this this direction so it goes 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so these are the four directions okay so for that or else when i'm entering the stage for example i have to enter the stage with spins so i am in this corner of the stage suppose let me see how far i can go right for example i have to enter the stage then also i am doing suppose i have to reach our dear ali so how do we do it again i am going to do 1 2 3 4 all right again i am using the two feet so this is the best to cover the stage also all right it's difficult to go if i do 1 2 3 4 5 it's going to take me too much of time so this foot when i'm using only two feet this is helpful for taking four directions round or covering the stage from one end to the other so now let's move on to the one foot spin all right so how do we do this most of the times most of us we use the heel to take the spin so the entire body weight is on the heel some of our friends use the toe also to take the spin but what happens is when i'm using my toe i have a tendency to fall in front so to avoid that 
I will be putting all my body weight on the heel. So, how do I do it? I do 1, 2, 3, go, 1. So, 1, 2, 3, go, 1. Whenever you are doing this one spin, and one more thing friends, whenever you are taking a spin, pull your body towards the right side and then push. So, that gives you better force of the spin. For example, I have, if I have to take a one foot spin, if I do this, it is going to be difficult for me. So, it is something like, you know, a bow and arrow. How, what, what is the principle behind it? I have an arrow, the, mo the more I pull the arrow in the opposite direction, the further it will go, correct? That is the principle. Same goes for the spins. Pull your body towards the other direction, then hit with the force. So, it goes 1. I will do it again. So, it goes 1. So, 1, 2, 3. What I am doing is I am pulling my body this way. You know, just to pull the body and then hit. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, go, 1. So, what we do is, let us do the 3 foot spin once, then 2 foot and then 1 feet. Uh, sorry, 3 feet, 2 feet and then 1 foot. Let us do it once again, alright. So, 3 feet, 3 times. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Let us do it. 1, 2, 3, start. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now, let us go to the 2 feet. Again, let us do it 3 times. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay. Let us try. 1, 2, 3, Start 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Clear? Yes. And now we go with only one leg. We go 1, 1, 1. Let us try. Okay. 1, 2, 3. Start 1, 1, 1. Yes, so just practice this friends, okay, because this will help you to have a lot of control over your body, okay. It is all in the mind. Whenever you take a spin, come back to the same place and look at one place. When I suppose I am starting with this point, I must finish there. It should not be finishing here or there, it has to finish right here. So, it is 1. Okay, we have different ways of taking the spin this way also, we take it this way also, some take it like this also, these are different ways of taking the spin. Okay friends, so it is time for me to go, but keep practicing and just maintain the passion that you are having for Kathak, alright. Let us wind up with the Bhumi Pranam. So Bhumi Pranam.